And for today's malt, we have, drum roll, Chateau Aroma. Being the oldest malting plant in Belgium means we make a lot of different kinds of malt, which is fantastic for making award-winning beers. However, sometimes brewers still have a hard time understanding how they are to be used. Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this series, we show you how to use each and every single one of all of our malts. Today's episode is all about Chateau Roma, how it's made, how it's used, which is really important for all the brewers out there to know. At least this is what we think, and you might, who knows, you might find something useful in there. Chateau Roma is an absolute bomb when it comes to malt flavor. I mean, it's, it's pretty much unrivaled to get that massive malty kick in your beers. Um, yeah, let's go to the lab, see what they have to say, let's see how it's made, and then see how to use it. Our aroma malt is made by putting green malt into the kiln and the temperature slowly raised to 115 degrees Celsius. That's in order to pull as much strong malt flavor out as possible without creating toasted elements. Donc le malt Chateau Arôme est quelque chose qui va vraiment donner une, une touche maltée importante aux bières sans amener énormément de couleurs, mais par contre, euh, vraiment typiquement la touche maltaire. Donc il se met bien aussi quand on va faire des bières un peu plus, un peu plus fortes ou un peu plus, de nouveau, un peu plus rondes. Euh, donc pas vraiment des bières d'été, pas des bières désaltérantes, mais, mais voilà, des bières balancées, des, plutôt des bières de dégustation. Belgian beers, Trappist style triple. The secret to making good triples is to add one malt other than Pilsner, along with the sugars. That is what sets it apart from a Belgian Golden Strong and why it is usually so much more malty. 10 to 15% is what will bring that solid malt baseline to the party. Belgian Winter and Spiced Ales. To make the most of your spices, it is usually a good idea to give them a good backbone from which to work an aroma malt does that with flair. Add up to 20% of the mix. Belgian Amber Ale. As you can imagine, the dry malt character needed in this style of beer can be easily achieved by the use of aroma. Eight to 12% is just the right range for the right results. British beers, Scottish export. With all those caramel flavors in this range of beers, you do need a drier Maillard note to round out the flavor profile and make the dry malt complexity noticeable. Adding around five to 8% in this instance is perfect. Old ale. Considering this is usually an ale that is aged and so the hop bitterness may vary, adding aroma malt at a rate of 20% will ensure that you have a strong malt body with which to pair the spice of the alcohol and dark sugar syrups. Very good in beers of this type and can be used at maximum quantities. German beers. Merzen. As the older version of the Fest beer, the emphasis is still on drinkability, as you need to be able to drink liters of this stuff. Having a dry, malty profile helps this aspect a lot. Along with your Munich malt, an addition of 10% or less into your grist has very positive results. Helles. As a malt-focused light beer, small amounts of aroma really go far in making this beer really distinguishable from Pilsner's. 3 to 10% is the range you should look at, keeping a close eye on the color of the finished beer. Dunkel's Weiss beer. On the one hand, you have a bready quality of Munich malt, and on the other, you have an almost creamy quality in the wheat. To marry those two together efficiently, use 8 to 12% aroma for a delicious layering of malt characteristics. American ales, American amber. In a beer that already has a lot going for it, the addition of up to 8% of this malt really solidifies the malt character, allowing you to use hops to canvas the frontal characteristics of this beer. American Pale Ale. Aside from the fruity hops, the general profile of two-row malt really does need a way to set it apart. One of the many ways to do this is to use up to 5% Castle Aroma Malt. 